this is what I'm declaring war on because I want you to understand something. First of all, I'm going to call this the degenerating downfall of the body. First of all, it's dehydration. Write down dehydration. 90% of people are dehydrated. Write that down. 90% of people are dehydrated, and a lot of them, most of them don't know. Now, listen carefully. They used to say years ago, you are what you eat. Then they flipped the script and said, no, you are what you digest. But then they got a little more insight, and they said, no, you are what you assimilate. In other words, it, it's, it, I mean, what you eat is one thing. What you digest, that's another thing. But what you assimilate, that's a totally different thing. And so they had to make the clarification. Because, again, you can eat things and digest them. When the body's digesting, all the food literally gets liquefied in the colon, and then that liquid is absorbed through the walls of the colon. That's why I, when I fast, I use uh, uh, water, and I have a special water, by the way, micro-clustered and structured water and juice, and literally I talk to my brain. I talk to my brain. By the way, we just finished a 50-day fast. Uh, you know, I did the 21 day, but I was actually fasting before that and did the second 21. But anyway, and now I'm about to do another 21 starting March the 1st. Um, I've got a company that got 62,000 distributors, and they're putting them all on the Breakthrough Challenge. Glory be to God. And uh, so I decided I'm going to do another fast. Uh, but but I, in my mind, here's how I because some people are like, man, I – how do you do all that? Well, first of all, I was meditating on Scripture, and, and it's 2 Corinthians, I think it's 11, 20, 7, 29, somewhere around there. And Paul was talking about the different things he was going through. And right in the middle of that verse, I'd never seen it before, and he said, in fastings often. I said, what? In fastings often. Think about that. In fasting, I was like, oh, my goodness. 2 Corinthians eleven twenty seven, and fastings Often he said, in weariness and painfulness, and watchings, and in hunger and thirst, and fastings, often. Okay, so anyway, but watch this, my friend. So I, I, I how do I do it? I talk like Pastor Kenny. I talk to myself. I talk to my brain. I talk to my stomach. I talk, and I say, now, 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 I'm going to actually instead of a fast, I'm, I'm going to make this into a feast. And then, it, see, 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 I'm going to turn this into a feast. Why? Because think about this, and that is it. Your body can only use liquid nutrients. Everything you eat, my friend, it starts digesting from the time it hits your mouth, and the whole process of digestion is breaking it down into a liquid form. That liquid form is then absorbed through the walls of the colon into the ileocecal valve, and uh, that's the, that's the scripture says the life of the flesh is in the what? The blood. And guess what? The life of the flesh, the, the vitamins and minerals, all the nutrients and fruits and vegetables things that God made living with the live enzymes, guess what, my friend? It's the juice. So when I learned that, that technically your body does, is a juicer, and the uh, electronic juicer does electronically what your body does naturally. It breaks down the food in the liquid form, and literally the only thing your body can use as far as your nutrients is concerned now the roughage that's left, it uses that, right, clean out the colon and so forth, but, but the juice. So watch this. But when you eat something and you digest something, if you've been eating a bunch of fried cake, uh, fried foods, it cakes the walls of the colon. So here's what they say. A lot of people, and I'm, I don't not, you know, I don't want anybody so uncomfortable, I'm not saying, but a lot of huge, big people, and I was huge at one time, believe me, they are suffering from mal malnutrition. Here's what used to happen to me. I mean, I was like 315 pounds, and, uh, and it was amazing. Nobody ever said, hey, evangelist, hey, doc, uh, you, you might ought to watch your weight. But as soon as I started, you know, doing long fast and doing different things and losing weight, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, you better be careful. You don't want to lose weight too soon. Oh, look like you're shriveling up. Uh, you better be careful. I know somebody went, I'm like, where were you when I was uh, uh, blossoming like a big old balloon? You never said a word, and now it's it's amazing how some people, but anyway, let me stop. So watch this. So, 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 so again, my friend, people, I, I, I ate, I'd eat food, and then literally my body would digest it, go down to the colon, and, and it's supposed to be absorbed through the walls of the colon, but because of the fried food that caking around the colon, it couldn't get through. And so it's like the body went through and said, hey, Dumbo, um, I can't use this. There's nothing. I, I got no nutritional value. Send me some more. 
And so my appetite was constantly on. It was turned on. And, and, and I would eat some more, and it was like the body would go through it, you know, and say, hey, okay, we can't, you know, sun fries, nothing live in there, okay, no, I mean, okay, we can digest it, but ain't nothing we can use. Hey, send me some more. And so I was like constantly eating. I was always in front of the refrigerator. Hold, my wife's like, what, baby? I, I don't know. I want something. I don't know what it is, right? And I was just constantly. And listen, my friend, and then I was reading the scripture. He says, he satisfied thy mouth with good things so that thy youth shall be renewed like the eagles. I'm like, when, well, when I eat, I get sleepy. Something, I must not be eating the right kind of thing, right? And then I started eating that rabbit food. And everybody started teasing me. I was like, yeah, but the rabbit seemed to have more energy than you have. But here's what I'm saying. I was eating, the, some of the largest people are suffering from malnutrition because they're eating the food, it's digesting, but it can't be assimilated to the walls of the colon. Listen carefully. So conversely so, people are now dehydrated, although they're drinking liquids, but a lot of times the liquids they're drinking is coffee, tea, soda, which literally anything caffeinated or carbonated is extracting fluids from the body, and so they're dehydrated. Not only that, if you don't drink the proper type of water, listen carefully, if you don't have a micro-clustered, structured water, then what happens is, now the water is flushing toxins out of the body uh, and out of uh, the kidneys, but here's what happens. It's not being assimilated into the cells. You ought to write this down. Only 3% gets to the cells when you're drinking regular water. And as we know, most people don't drink enough water. We all know we're supposed to drink eight, eight ounce glasses. We've been taught that, but technically, Dr. Batman Gellis um, proved this and showed that if you take your body weight, cut that in half, and drink that many ounces of water every day. So if you're 100 pounds, then cut that in half, make that ounces, that would be 50 ounces of water. Now I know it's not all you're like, oh my goodness, I'll be floating all over the place. And listen, here's the reason why we constantly have to go to the bathroom. Because only 3% of that is penetrating the cells. The rest just goes to the bladder. And there's some people that have incontinence problems, and uh, so when it goes to the bladder, they have leakage. Watch this. Well, th there's a special type of water that's micro-clustered, that's structured. Watch this now. And so instead of only 3% of the nutrients getting to the cells, a whopping 94% gets to the cells. Now, watch me carefully. Listen carefully. There are people with incontinence problems say, listen, I can't hardly drink water, but why, can it, why is it that I can drink this water and I don't have problems? I'll tell you why. Because instead of 3% going to the cells, the other going to the, 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 to the kidneys and the bladder and so forth and now leakage, no, this 94% is going directly to the cells, which, by the way, here's one of the revelations, illumination, excuse me, you, you need this. What's inside your head, that's not the brain. That's the processor, like a computer. Literally, your brain is the membrane around every cell in the body and the transmitter or processor that's in your head that we call the brain is actually just a control center that's sending the signals to the real brain, which is the 100 trillion cells that you have. It's a membrane that's just outside that wraps around the cells. And listen carefully. And it can't function properly without fluid. Think about this now. Think about this. When God made man, he formed man with his very own hands, and then he breathed in the man the breath of life. What was that breath? Think about it, my friend. It was wind and water. I said it was wind and water. You don't believe me? Stand in front of a mirror and listen. Exhale in front of a mirror. What do you see? Mist. Do you know what we didn't realize? We, we, we didn't realize that every day, my friend, you're supposed to be drinking, they said, eight to ten ounce, eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day, but actually you need to take your body weight, cut that in half, and drink that in ounces of water. But watch this. You're getting rid of eight, eight ounce glasses every day because when you inhale, then you exhale. And every time you exhale, there's fluid leaving your body. So watch this. So man didn't come to life. He didn't quicken until God breathed. And listen, the very, listen, the wind, that's the spirit. And the water, and it wasn't until the water came into us that then we were, then we, and watch this, and every man and woman thereafter came to the mother's womb, and in that womb, you were in fluid, you lived in fluid, my friend, in a sack for almost nine months, in some cases a little bit after. I'm saying, listen, my friend, and think about this, and when you die, when you die, what happens? The fluid starts escaping your body. So watch this. So here it is. Here's the downfall. The, the degenerative downward spiral, it first starts with dehydration. Listen, 
Arthritis is nothing more than dehydration, and now the bones don't, uh, don't have the fluid they need. Do you know a lot of times, my friend, high blood pressure is nothing more than serious dehydration, and now the arteries are I'm saying, listen, my friend, just about every disease, people with cancer, my friend, their body is not just acidic, but guess what? It's dehydrated, severely dehydrated. And I'm telling you, my friend, I'm telling you that you better understand something. Dehydration, my friend, you need to be drinking fluids, but you need to be drinking water, but especially structured type of water. Why? Because after dehydration, watch this now, it goes down to deficiency. Deficiency. We know that the body is 75 to 80 percent water. The brain is 90 percent water. People call me oftentimes with depression, and I'll, I'll tell them that it's in my book. Just take three consecutive glasses of water. Call me 10 minutes later and see what happens. Eight out of 10 of them, the problem's gone. Why? Because they didn't understand the first thing that dehydrates is the brain. And so watch this. The neurotransmitters can't work properly, and so it drops you into depression. So it starts with dehydration. It goes to deficiency. What happens if your car doesn't have water in the radiator? It's going to eventually burn out. Hey, the light comes on. You don't take a hammer and knock the light out. No, you say, I got to get my, – my, our body is giving us signals. As a matter of fact, you know most people, what they think is hunger, pain, it's actually your body saying you're thirsty. A pastor called me the other. He said, Doc, why is it since I've been drinking this special structured water? I'm not hungry all the time. I said, because your body's working more efficiently and because – Truly, you weren't hungry to begin with. You were thirsty, but we misinterpret that. So from dehydration, deficiency. From deficiency now is dysfunction. Come on, get this down. Dehydration, deficiency, then dysfunction. So the body's not functioning properly. And then it drops into depression. And then if that keeps on, it's dis-ease. And then from there, if that keeps on, it's despair. And if that keeps on, it ends with death. Now, listen, my friend, it's time to restore from the core. You need intercellular rejuvenation, repair, and healing. And I'm telling you, my friend, I'm telling you, the Bible says the thief cometh not, John 10, 10, but to kill, steal, and destroy. Abundantly filled, overflowing. Think about this. And we say the devil. Well, listen, my friend, there's another devil, and that's dehydration. That devil, dehydration is going to kill, steal, and destroy, my friend. And Jesus is called the living water. So you need living water that gets to the cells, living water that can penetrate the cells. And I'm telling you, my friend, there's so many of you that your energy is low and you got foggy thinking and your brain's not functioning properly. And you, 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 don't, you can't figure out why aren't I happy? Why, 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 why is it that I'm always fighting this depression? Why is it my body's breaking down? And it's real simple. It's real simple, my friend. You are dehydrated, and it's time, my friend, to take proper care of your temple. Do you understand, my friend, that this, and I got to come to a close here, but this dehydration, do you, know, do you know when you start rehydrating the body, it reduces the free radicals? It's a reduction in the acids and the toxins, which literally cause pain. It increases the blood oxygen level. Do you know it improves the blood viscosity and, and the reducing of the high blood pressure, which a lot of folks have problems with, and even diabetes, my friend. A lot of that still comes from dehydration. You, you know, by rehydrating, you, you improve your nutrient absorption. You improve your memory and brain function. You, you slow down the aging process. It reduces constipation and improves bowel function and Constipation is, is literally poisons trapped in your body, and now, my friend, it's being reabsorbed. I'm telling you, you get better pH balance, and it regulates your body temperature. I could go on and on and on, but y'all know my time is out, and y'all say, Doc, you got to stop. You're too fired up. But I'm declaring war on dehydration, and I'm looking for some warriors and winners instead of some wimps and whiners. <laughs>